Smartwatches are expensive, and half of them die before my bedtime. So, I decided to build one myself. How hard could it even be? Uh, well, you're about to see. So, I'm building a smartwatch. I'm gonna need a screen. I like circular screens because it makes me feel more like a normal watch. So, I chose the Seed Zhao Round Display. It has a good round 240 by 240 pixel 1.28 inch screen. After the screen, I had to choose the microcontroller. Since the display goes with a Zhao board, I chose the ESP32 S3, which is small but very powerful. After it arrived, I soldered the pins to the board. Now, since I had the screen in the microcontroller, I could start testing out some small sketches in the Arduino IDE. I started with a basic watch face, provided in the example code, and it worked. All I had to do was plug in the board to the screen and run the sketch. Perfect. But I can't just go with a basic watch face. I had an ESP32 on my hands. It supported Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. I couldn't let that go to waste. So I thought of some of the things I wanted my watch to have. I needed to have the time, of course. I also chose to add weather and dad jokes, you know, the things you need to get through the day. So with that in mind, I needed to start creating this watch interface. Normal watches use swipes and taps to determine what will happen. I kept that in mind and worked on making my pages. I use Squareline Studio, and it's basically like Canva for my watch's design. I can basically just drag and drop everything I need to. And I made a setup screen for the Wi-Fi. A home screen. Other screen. And of course, the dad joke screen. Now I had to make all these work, since if I left it as is, I would just have empty labels and nobody likes to look at that. So it was time to code. For the weather, I use an API where you can enter any coordinate and it will send back the weather data. So I use my location, and no, you aren't getting it. <laughs> For the dad jokes, I used iconhasdadjoke.com. If you just send a get request, it will send back a joke. I wanted to have a joke a day, so I only fetch this every once every 24 hours. And finally, for the actual time, I use a ser time server called pool.ntp.org. It's very exact, and my watch grabs a time from here every minute. Now that I had all my data, I just need to add it to my watch. So with some simple functions, my watch finally stopped being lorem ipsum text and showed all the data that I'm extracting. Now, battery life is always a hassle on watches. You want to have the best efficiency, which means highest battery capacity and lowest battery usage. That's the perfect scenario. Except, when you're me and you're fetching all this data every minute, you have more battery usage. So instead of using a battery that only provided me with 3 hours of runtime, I chose go big or go home. And I have a 4000 milliamp battery that lasts 1.5 days. But, it's very thick. That's long enough for me since I can charge it about every night. Also, the watch already looked chopped, since the headers on the screen along with the actual microcontroller made the entire thing about an inch tall, so adding a clunky battery instead of a small one was a better decision in my opinion.
Once all of that was done, I got the result of my custom, fully functional watch. Yes, it looks chopped. Yes, I still need a 3D printed enclosure. Yes, I definitely won't be able to get through airport security with it, but the main watch was fully complete. So here are the pros and cons. One big upside of having a custom watch is being able to control whatever you want on it. You can add virtually anything, and the only limit is your imagination or your coding abilities. Another big win is that you look really cool with it on your wrist. Even though it's pretty chopped, it's custom and DIY, and there's something about that that makes you look good wearing it in public. However, everything has some bad sides too. This watch isn't great on battery life. Having 1.5 days to use it means that if I miss even one day, I won't be able to use it the next day, which isn't good. Also, this watch is extremely massive. You can see some smartwatches online that have some long 31 day battery lives and think those are bad. Just wait until you see mine. While I could add more code, and probably will in the future, to make the battery last a lot longer, it just isn't going to be as small as other watches. Overall, I wouldn't recommend that you make a custom smartwatch for yourself unless you like debugging the screen flickering at 3am and questioning your life decisions. <laughs> but if you like making things, this is still a cheap and fun way to make a cool piece of tech that will serve as a time passer while you're making it. No pun intended. Anyway, that's my cursed DIY smartwatch. If you want any more of these types of projects, like or comment and I'll take a look. Promise me 12.